Jason Tatum hits a buzzer beating layup. He gives the Celtics that dramatic 1 0 series lead. KD struggles in that loss, shooting just 9 of 24 from the floor, 1 of 5 from 3 at 6 turnovers. And then it continues in game two. He doesn't bounce back, not by a long shot. He only goes 4 for 17 from the field, 0 for 10 in the second half. We're shooting half of his career yesterday on Get Up. Stephen A had this to say about KD and his struggle. It is scary how bad Kevin Durant has looked and how humbled he has been in this series thus far. He got to change it. He's got to turn it around. I got to believe he can, but I have never seen Kevin Durant look this bad. I am shell-shocked, and I have nothing to say in his defense, not anything because of what I have seen. Well, PJ, you're calling this series for radio. You've had a front-row seat. What's up? What's up is the Boston defense. There's no question about that. You can't defend Kevin Durant any better than they're defending. Also, a little bit of a nudge to watch the help right here. Jason Tatum works over the top, but Daniel Tice is right there. Kevin's never playing against one guy. The turnovers is what the biggest problem for Kevin right now and what happens with the turnovers. Jason Tatum's guarding him, but watch Jalen Brown sneak in from the backside. It's the help defense. Everybody's focused on him. And here we go again, converting off the turnovers. His turnovers have really been a problem. But look at the contest. Jason Tatum, Daniel Tice. If you look at his picture, who's guarding him? They're both guarding him. Every time he shoots the ball, he doesn't have one hand. He's got at least two. There's enough uh, possessions where he had three people guarding him. Ime Yudoka knows Kevin really well. It's an edge. It's not the deciding factor, but having been an assistant in Brooklyn last year, big plus. Willie Green, having been an assistant in Phoenix last year, big plus. You got intel. You know how to set up your defense. Kevin's going to yeah. adjust. I hear what Stephen A. said. He's got to be more careful with the ball. Most of his turnovers are off the dribble. There's too many people focused on him. Uh, they got to move him around a little bit also. I think they got to get Kevin. If you look at most of his possessions, he's above the foul line. So everybody's up and looking at him. They're going to move him around a little bit. Uh, he's played two good halves. That's the thing. He's had two, by his standards, rotten halves. But he also had two very good halves that every, everybody's discounting. And again, they lost the first game on the last play of the game. And they led. Uh, this game, late in the game also. So it, it's too early to say, I like Boston. I love their defense. I, I think they're going to win the series because they're a better team. But KD, we're not going to see the same KD that we saw in Boston. What are you seeing from him in, in terms of confidence? I mean, you mentioned in our meeting this morning, it, it's hard to really wrap your brain around this. He doesn't seem confident not at, at all. this point. Even on the stuff that, that, that PJ was showing us there, so off balance. You saw him turn the ball, dribble off his foot. Uh, the one where he turned on that spin, the very first play, he's stumbling for no reason. Like, he just stumbles. That shows a lack of confidence. That shows he's unsure. You just see him, and the physicality. There's a bump there. You see it. The physicality, holding him up, getting in his way. That's where I really feel like it's time for Steve Nash to say something at some point and say, I've got the best player in the world, and I'm not getting these calls. Like, they're, led, they're manhandling him. Well, I saw a video in game two. You know who was giving the referees an earful? Mama Durant. Durant. She was giving the referees an <laughs> yeah, Wanda. Thank you. She's... Somebody is sticking up for this guy. <laughs> Take a fine. Do something. But make sure that everyone knows what's going on. They're playing them physical. It's the playoffs. We know it gets that way. But I got the best player in the world. Is that what we want, NBA? We want him getting manhandled so he's off balance and can't score and can't put on a show? I don't know if that's what the league wants. And I'd be really curious to see if, if you did say it, which Steve Nash has yet to do it, but he's got today to do something, and it gets in the ears. You know the officials pay attention to stuff. They read everything. They watch film, too. And will they also make adjustments saying, you know what, yeah, a little hip check there, a little shove here. We got to call that stuff as well. Would, you, would you do it, adjusted. PJ? No. Would you say something? It, it went from five. He shot five free throws in game one. He shot 20 in game two. How many free throws do you want to shoot? That's I it's, want. On, it's, on, it's on Kevin. Uh, All right, Kevin. Kevin. But he let knows. me ask you this. Around. What no. other adjustments can Steve Nash make? What else can he well, do to help They got to get him team. screens. They got to get him open. But that, those were great clips you just saw because you saw him getting bumped. He's going to get bumped. The the only thing you can do against Kevin Durant is be physical. Because if you give him any kind of room, they're not giving him room. They're right up against his chest every time he comes off a screen. It's not like they're not running screens. They are. They're knocking him down. Grant hits him. Runner Jalen hits him. Right. 
Horford hits him. That's Three different guys hit him. Man, just coming going across. There's a lot just going coming across. There. There's no question. So you're going to see 20 free throws again, depending on what crew it is. Both of those games, the first quarters were horrendous. Yes. So, and, whistles, and again, whistles, whistles, whistles. we were saying Kesty's doing the game. Mark Kesty's just calling it. I'm saying they got to adjust. They being the three officials have to adjust. But the 10 players got to adjust, too. And we didn't see that in the first quarter of either game. I'm, I'm anxious to see Saturday night at Barclays how it's officiated and whether the players realize, all right, they're not going to let us get away with anything. Yeah. We, we couldn't have had more fouls, more whistles, more free throws than we had in those two first quarters. It was not good NBA basketball. Yeah, old Pat is Udoka out, out coaching his uh, former boss there? Yeah, he certainly is because he's got the scheme that's shutting down his stars. And you know what else is great about this scheme too, Coach, and you'll appreciate this, is the physicality wears Kevin Durant down. Remember, down the last 10, 10 15 games of the season, he had to play 40 minutes a night. Well, he had to carry the team, and he's doing it again here. Is that wearing him down at 32 years old? Physicality and the minutes. And that, it's all that's what you think up. of when you see this, right? Yeah. right. Well, just you just see, and, then he gets, and then you can see right. it mentally start to not, not check well, out, I, but you see it mentally well, affecting him. I think what the officials bothered him in game one. Game two, you know what bothered Kevin? The way he was playing. He was really frustrated because he knew he wasn't playing like Kevin Durant. Right. The turnovers particularly. He turned mm -hmm. the ball over, and they scored on the other yeah. end like three seconds later. He, Kevin Durant is going to bounce back. There's no question oh, about that. Yeah. I don't know whether his team – there's no question who's the better team. Boston is the better team. Uh, let's see whether the other guys can step up for I mean, Brooklyn. they were coming at him yeah. in waves, and you look at the minutes played this there. And let, yeah. Let's not let Kyrie off the hook because he was terrible yeah. in the second half and, and of that why this well. says a lot, too, is because this is – why you have to play during the regular season and not get in the play in. This is why your guys have to play. So you're not making them play these huge minutes and extra games that wears them down. Also, you guys have to play. <laughs> they didn't play 82 games. Yeah. Kevin yeah. was yeah. hurt. Kyrie right. missed almost the entire year. Absolutely. Boston, their, their guys played. Thank you for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+.